What's up, Sooner Nation? Welcome back to the Sooner Surge Softball Edition. Battle Series number two is in the books. Another great night out at Marita Hines Stadium. Uh, it'd be a great time for you to subscribe to the Sooner Surge YouTube channel. Make sure you go and do that. You enable those notifications. You like and comment. Keep the interaction coming with us. Uh, yeah, guys, let's talk about some key takeaways. Uh, we're two, two Battle Series games into uh, this kind of fall off season. Obviously, the seniors and the leadership we know is elite. But let's just talk about after two games, uh, in your opinion, What's one of the key takeaways? Uh, we'll go around the round table here. Key takeaway uh, two games in, guys. Start with you, Hunter. Uh, I'm going to go with Kate Monticelli. Uh, there was a lot of hype on her when she came in. Very talented freshman transfer from Wisconsin. And she is looking like uh, she has the potential to be the best pitcher on this roster. Uh, the velocity that she has. I know tonight at the end of the game, she gave up back-to-back -back home runs, but that was after a, a stretch of strikeouts, including Jada Coleman. Like, that's impressive what she's been able to do. Uh, last week, she got, I think it was second place in the MVP stuff for the week, maybe third. Uh, so in that point system they're doing, she's one of the leaders. I'll be interested to see where she is after they update the total from this week because she had another good outing, so – yeah, Peyton Monticelli looks like the real deal for the Sooners. Yeah, and you mentioned Monticelli, Hunter. And, and, you know, I go back to last year when they brought in Alex Straco out of the portal. And the difference is Alex Straco was a big-time pitcher at Michigan, okay? Monticelli's coming in kind of under the radar a little bit. I mean, she was a freshman at Wisconsin. She wasn't under the radar out of high school, but what I mean is at Wisconsin, she didn't pitch it like I mean, she pitched a lot of innings, but she wasn't like a superstar yeah, at Wisconsin. Exactly. And I, I agree with you, Hunter. I think she she can be a really uh, solid solid pitcher for this team. And like you said, maybe she, maybe she will be the best one. Who knows? She's got great she stuff. Has, so she has been a very good surprise uh, yeah. uh, for the Sooner staff. And it, when you have someone who can throw seventy or maybe above and can bring it like that. Uh, that's just uh, huge for the staff. And honestly, we, we had her on the podcast, guys. She's just a great uh, culture person, too, and someone you want around. She's got a great charismatic energy about her, and she's going to bring that to the to the field, too. And, hey, if you look at her stats from Wisconsin, go look at how many strikeouts per innings pitched. It's pretty impressive. She was under the radar, though. Braden, oh, yeah. what about you? What's a key takeaway for you after two games in the fall battle series? Kenzie Hansen, she's just – she's a leader. Man, she's hitting the ball good through two games. Yeah. Uh, Kenzie Hansen. Hey, there was interesting tonight, guys. She did play a little first base. And uh, I, I could see them with Ludlam now, having Ludlam, maybe some behind the plate. You really want to work Ludlam uh, in some for the future anyway. Uh, I could see Hansen getting some extra hitting duties. And, you know, that position and maybe sliding down to first base some as well, but maybe not take the, the bruising toll behind the plate. Now, obviously, the big games and all that, she's going to be there. And I'm not saying they're not yeah. going to catch her, but there is a, there's a potential now where you can do some different things and kind of save her body a little bit. Well, because what they have, too, is they have multiple players that can play different positions. So, for instance, right now, Sydney Sanders – she hasn't been playing precautionary, but you have people you can throw in that position. They have that all over the field. They got multiple people that can play in right, multiple at third or short. So obviously that's going to be beneficial to them throughout the season. Um, me, my key takeaway from the first few games, Cassidy Pickering. Guys, Cassidy Pickering, freshman, three home runs if you count the North Central College game. Um, she's got power to all all parts of the field, and she's a freshman. And Pickering's got the pop, and she's got the power. And I look for her as a freshman to make a immediate major impact. I would agree with that. And really, watch her swing. I mean, she's got that oh, yeah. back kind of sitting up on her shoulder, but she gets her hands to the zone so quickly. Uh, and like you said, she can spray the ball all over the field. Now, another freshman, Jay, that has a very impressive swing is Ella Parker. It's smooth, yeah. as, smooth as silk. 
It reminds me of a little bit of a, uh, a Will Clark back in the day for the Giants. Just so Griffey. smooth. Everyone, uh, yeah, Griffey and Clark. Just you, you talk about the swing and how smooth it is, and that's kind of what you notice with Ella Parker as well. But I agree with you, Jay. Pickering uh, is going to add some things. You look at who they lost with Jocelyn Erickson. Yeah, she she could do some things to the plate, but I actually think these freshmen are going to be able to do more than what Erickson and I'm missing someone of who else they lost. Who am I missing, guys? They lost the they lost the the one that transferred to Tennessee shortstop. Uh, Sophia Nugent, Nugent, Sophia Nugent. Nugent. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll say my uh, my takeaway is uh, I'm going to go with Hannah Core. Uh, Hannah Core was like four for six against North Central College. She she hit the ball well tonight, and she fielded well in the outfield. She brings something uh, along the lines of Riley Boone and the fact that she can run really well. Guys, you think about it, when she is in the outfield, if she's out there with Boone and Coleman, are, are you freaking kidding me? There's not anything getting in the gaps. Those three ladies can run. As, I'll put those three against anyone in a race. So that's that's special. And Hannah Core looks like she's muscled up some. She's hitting the ball well. And guys, we could probably talk all day about some of these seniors and how great they are. We didn't even mention any of them. If that tells you anything, guys, huh? Yeah, Tiara Jennings just casually hit one off the scoreboard tonight. Uh, I think that's her second home run so far uh, through these uh, scrimmages in the fall. So, yeah. Well, yeah. And, and like you said, we haven't talked about him, but that's what's so exciting is the incoming freshmen and the transfer portal players are that exciting. And it's just going into the year. Sooner fans, like Monticelli, like Hunter mentioned, Sooner fans didn't know what they were getting with Monticelli. I, I had no clue. Uh, same with uh, Pickering. Yeah, you know kind of off their stats of what they've done at other schools or in high school. But until you see it in person – it really gets you kind of on edge now, just super pumped for the season with a lot of these players that you haven't got to see much. It, it's got me very excited. Yeah, and S.J. Guerin is another one we didn't mention. S.J. Guerin was unbelievable. She probably led in strikeouts maybe uh, tonight. Had some looking on that nasty changeup she throws. Wow. Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox. She's painting the corners. She's got that nasty changeup. But, yeah, guys, the freshman class is exciting. Uh, to watch and guess what the next two classes coming in are going to be exciting as well and we get to do it all at Love's Field here coming up this next season Patty Gasso's statue will be there a lot of exciting things drop in the comments some takeaway that you took from tonight or the first two nights uh, in the battle series games uh, drop them in our comment section uh, make sure you're subscribed to the Sooner Surge appreciate it guys till next time Boomer Boomer, Boomer.